this is just a quick video on the um, God, what's it called? The Rider, the Derringer Rider pistol, and uh, that's it there. So I bought this on a whim, and uh, it's supposedly meant to shoot a 4.5 millimeter BB, you know, 0.177. Probably can't see that, it's just gonna roll off, but anyway, about the same size as your 177 air rifle, but in a BB form. Uh, you are not supposed to shoot steel BBs out of it, so don't do that. I had to order these specially. And the other, well, one, uh, this is meant to shoot the BB with just the the cap, the primer. And at first I thought, man, that's got to be a mistake. You know, how can you fire a, a BB with a uh, with, with with just a cap? Um, but the way they do it is now. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but oh, there you go. You can kind of see it there. There is a much larger than normal hole inside this uh, nipple for the cap. So that most of the, the fire from the cap is going through to um, project the, um, the bullet out. And, you know, that's how they're able to do it. Um, you know, I just, I, I didn't think there was enough fire getting through from a cap to be able to do that but when you've got that much hole in the nipple then there's enough fire going through uh, they also say and this is kind of for the same reason they also say do not use we actually no, they don't do not use they say we strongly recommend not to use any kind of black powder nor any smokeless powder and you know the, the reason for that is is pretty obvious such a large hole in that nipple and a lot of that if you did get you know even a small amount of black powder in there there's going to be even more of it blasting back at you because it's such a large hole in the nipple so i would um, follow their recommendations and do not try any black powder in this and uh, anyway uh, very cute looking gun in a weird sort of way uh, heavier than I thought it was going to be you know considering the size uh, I'm I'm not really happy with the reliability and I'll all right talk about that a little bit I mean it's, it's just a plinker so reliability is not that big of an issue um, now in the instructions they recommend you use the uh, RWS 1075 caps which I actually did a review on kind of a review on um, yeah, a range test on them and I noticed when I was doing the range test that they seem to have a lot of fire a lot of you know too much actually if they were blowing off and hit me in the finger so and now I understand why because you know these guys recommend them you know to shoot this little pistol it's because it has that extra bit of fire. The problem is they are they, they are unreliable. So I got one to fire and then I did five uh, that failed to fire. So there's some problem there with reliability and if anyone can help me with that I would be much appreciated. My thoughts on it were so I'm going to put the special nipple in, close it up. Now that's ready to fire if I had a cap and a ball in there. And when I pull the trigger, all right, there we go. Um, it contacts fairly evenly over the face of the nipple. And I thought, now this is just an idea, I haven't done it yet, but I thought if I was to grind out a little bit of that nipple, so I had just one section of the 
cap that was contacting with the hammer, maybe that would make for a more reliable ignition, because at the moment it's not very reliable. Uh, let me see if I can demonstrate that. I am not going to put a ball in. All right. So that's empty. Nothing in the you know, nothing in the barrel. I can see down it from here. I don't know if you can. But anyway, nothing in the barrel. Uh, so I'm going to try a cap. First cap I'm going to try is the Remington number 11. Okay, so the cap's on, nipple is in place and locked down, and that's ready to fire. And then I pull the trigger, and it fires. Okay, now I'm going to try the RWS. They'll probably end up making a liar of me now and actually you and actually working, but we'll see. Put the RWS in. of me. Anyway, that's what I've noticed. The RWS were less reliable than the, um, the Remington number 11s. However, they seem to have a lot more force behind them, a lot more fire behind them. So they're probably going to be better as a, a propellant for the bullet. Now, I fitted a bullet there. You see that? I'm going to put the RWS cap on. So I'm going to seat it firmly. I notice that seems to help with the reliability. If I was to you know, push that on firmly, it seems to work a little better. And now we're ready to fire. Let's see if that fires. And it fired. All right, I'm on, a, I'm on a roll. Let me try another one. I'm going to try and put this through the chronograph, see if I can get a reading on it. So with the, the Remington number 11s, I was able to get a chronograph reading of about 200 feet per second. I expect these RWS 1075 caps to get a little bit more than that, if I can get a reading. And it didn't fire. All right. So that's the that's my dilemma. Seems like whenever I try to shoot these things, they don't fire correctly. And then it, it actually feels a little sketchy trying to get this cap off. So I've got to try and lever it in. You know, the hammer's back caps on there's still a ball in there so I'm keeping it pointed in the safe direction but it's still sketchy all right I'm gonna try another one see if I can get it on video all right it fired and shot that time but I didn't get a reading on my chronograph. But I do expect no. that might not have even come out the barrel. This has got no primer in it, and yeah, no, the ball did not even come out the barrel. So this is a little disappointing, and uh, yeah, kind of a neat little gadget, I guess. It works sometimes. Um, obviously, it's not a self-defense tool, but even as a fun plinking toy it's not a toy it, you know it's a real when it shoots it shoots at a dangerous velocity so I shouldn't call it a toy but uh, you know just for plinking around uh, 
it's kind of frustrating. So if anyone has any thoughts on how to improve the reliability of this black, well, can't even call it a black powder because it's not meant to use black powder. But if anyone's got any ideas on how to improve my reliability, I would be much appreciated.